Howdy folks, I hope you're well. Welcome to the show. Let me know if you can hear me, see me, what have you. Somebody say hello, just to make sure that we're broadcasting all right. I've had an issue with uh, comments, not being able to see all the comments from all the different channels that we're going across. So I'm going to keep an eye on that and uh, see if we can uh, see. I'm just going to test it myself actually. Because if not, I'm going, oh, I can, okay. So, um, one second, I got some feedback going on on, uh, on our uh, guests. One second. Let me just close that down a second. So, I um, hope you're well. Like I said, um, it's good to be back. I was back last week. And... Uh, we're slowly getting there with the office. The new office is coming along. It's better than it was last week. Uh, still a few bits to do, but we're getting there. So hopefully you can all hear me, see me. I can see we've got uh, we've got about 50-odd people watching at the moment, which is great. So a couple of things to talk about tonight. Um, the results of the RPRA general meeting being one of them. We'll talk about that in a little while. And the other thing I want to talk about is um, Houghton Show, although I didn't actually go to the Houghton Show. But I'll uh, explain that in a few minutes as to what happened. Uh, we've got Gary Tomlinson on. He's going to come on for about 15, 20 minutes, uh, give you an update. He was at Houghton, which is why I wanted Gary to come and kind of report on how because I couldn't get there and uh, also he'll give you an update on what's going on with his race and all of that good stuff as well um, so yeah that's what we're uh, that's what we're looking at doing um, tonight and uh, we've got 75 people watching now so thanks very much thank you to everybody that said hello evening to Dean McKee uh, Andy, Benny Butler, Thomas Harrington. Uh, I am going to check that I can see all of the feeds because uh, I think some one of the feeds that people are watching on I don't get for some reason. Uh, it should all come into the same uh, same thing. We've got uh, Eddie Grujan's watching. We've got Dave Bolton watching. Stuart Maloney, James Dunn, Clifford Schofield, and a bunch more other people as well. So. Thank you to everybody for watching. So let's uh, let's bring Gary on first. And uh, let me just turn his speakers up. Hopefully we don't get a feedback. Um, some, one of the feeds that people are watching on, I don't get for some reason. Uh, it should all come Gary, I can hear you on a feedback. I don't know if you're watching it as well. Um, but let me just bring Gary in now. Uh, it's been Gary and Gary, can you hear me? Thank you to everybody for watching. So let's uh, let's bring Gary on first, and uh, let me just turn his. Gary, are you listening to me on uh, Facebook as well? Mm. There we go. Can you hear me, mate? Can you hear me, mate? Can you hear me? No, Sam. Mm. Not good. Mm. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, right? There we go. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Right, okay. I can hear you can now, you then, yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. I think... Uh, no, Sam. It's got a delay, then, because I said that ages ago. Not good. Can you hear me? Yeah. But I've got you through Facebook. Um, Can you hear me, mate? 
Kill, kill Facebook, mate, and just put it through Hello. Skype. Can you hear me? Yeah. Because there'll be a delay through Facebook. I, I need it through the Star Skype you connection. Yeah. Right, okay. I can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear you. I think... Uh, no, sir. It's got a delay there, because I said that ages ago. Bear with me, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. But I've got you through Facebook. Um, can you hear me, mate? Kill, kill Facebook, mate, and go. just put it through Hello. Skype. Can you hear me? We'll get there, folks. One second. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. I'm going to call Gary back just one second. Ah, the beauties of technicals is why I need a producer, folks. Just one second, I'll call Gary back and uh, I'll tell him to uh, just be on Skype. I think he's forgot to be... Uh, just on Skype. Hello? Can you hear me, mate? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah? Yeah, so you're just on Skype now? That's right. Yeah, all right, great. That'll work. That's better. Okay. There we go. Right, we can see you. Everybody can see you. Let's switch you around so people can see you mostly. So, there we go. So apologies for that, folks, but we'll get there in the end. So, um, you were at Houghton. I was due to be at Houghton, and I got so far as the departures lounge at Birmingham to fly to Houghton, and then I had to come back. And uh, without too much info, I had a call. Gabby's, Gabby, my Gabby had a um, scan at the hospital, and it was unclear what was wrong, and she was uh, not in a good place. And uh, I decided there's no way I could have flown to Holland and leave her like that after just having a scan that sh showed something up. All being well, it's not anything too serious. It's something bladder related without going into too much info. And see, But at the time, we didn't know what the problem was. So I just made the decision real quick um, that I couldn't fly. I couldn't leave her like that. And uh, I was gutted, but at the same time, Obviously, Gabby comes first. And I'll tell you one thing, it's an absolute nightmare um, to get out of security when, when you've been through. It's, it's a nightmare to get out of the departures lounge when you're, uh, when you, it's a complete ball ache. It took me about 20 minutes to get out. But anyway, so that's why I didn't go to Houghton, folks. But Gary went there. So, how was the show? Um, the show was superb, extremely busy. Um, Friday, we didn't arrive there till late um, Friday evening. Got the stand set up for around about 7.30. Um, the guy who you arranged with to bring me the memory stick for the, to run the, um, the, the, the the promo video, I have to say a big thank you to him because he was absolutely superb. Did he make? Did he get it going for you as well? Yeah, you know a dinosaur I am, so yeah, <laughs> he did really assist me in that department as well. I was uh, I was uh, hoping he would, and I was hoping that it would auto play and keep going round as well. That was my fear. Yeah, absolutely, at first class, there was no problem at all. Um, there wasn't that many people there on the Friday night, you know, um, which they never it never used the on a Friday night. But there was that many people there, so you know, um, we stayed till about eight o'clock, and then we went to check in the hotel, etc., and. Um, the show on um, moving on to the, the bar was rammed with, uh, with pigeon fanciers, you know, from all over Europe. Um, many came across, you know, shook me hand, etc. And I got um, Tony Bates with me. Our president bought a team from a Belgian fancier, which was a surprise to me. I didn't know they were coming. And I had a great conversation with Franz, got a few pictures of him. And he, he informed me that he's going to be the guy overseeing our race. And so we've got the top man of the FCI in our first year taking care of the race. What that means is that 
Franz will be overseeing all the race marking. He'll be over for the weekend or however long it takes to oversee all the race marking. He'll witness the sealing of the crates. He will also be heavily involved in the liberation with the full line of flight and weather, etc. because obviously the FCI have the birds welfare at all, just as we do. And um, we will liaise with each other to make sure that we get a good line of flight so we can get some good returns. But as, as Franz are aware, it's what makes it much harder racing from France in this race is because the birds are on their own. There's no birds in France that weekend at all, and they're up on their own, the, the convoy on their own. So, as you said, it is uh, no mean feat. But, uh, yeah, everything's positive. Things are good. Things are going well. But again, then again, if you think £100,000, €116,000, €17,000, gold medals, you know, you can understand why... Also, we've, we've we've gone with the best clocking system there is for One Loft Racing, Benzing Live. You can download the app. There's going to be an IPC. Each you can can get his own IPC number to make them. Uh, they can compete then for FCI honours. And you know it, it's it's endless. It goes on and on and on. So yeah, a very very successful show. Very pleased. Met some great people, and I'd like to thank all the Dutch people who helped me out. And like you say, especially the guy who come along and got the dinosaur out of the way and got the television working for me. Well, I want to say thank you to him, which I did publicly as well, but I'll say that now. He, he helped me out of a spot in that I'm sitting there thinking, how the hell am I going to get Gary this video? Because that was uh, obviously a big, a big issue. But uh, I, as I said, I had, uh, I had a few people offering help. Thomas because uh, he was flying, Thomas helped me, Thomas Zimmerman offered to help as well, but um, Visa uh, was the one that stepped up and I, he managed to um, see my post half an hour before he was uh, due to leave for the show, so uh, I sent him, I stopped off on the motorway and sent him the video and he, uh, and he saw it, so again, big thanks to him for doing that, it, uh, it just shows you what good people are around. Really good. The other thing, Mark, I'd like to say about um, the benzing system. We got home to obviously I got home late last night, but this morning we 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 got the pigeons too that we needed to put on the what I wanted to try out on the benzing system. Um, being new to me, and um, we managed to type the ring numbers in, etc., and all the codes we needed. We no problem whatsoever. However, when I come to, I was also put because what we're doing this year. We're putting the ETS rings on as the birds come in. There's no, oh, well, that's £1.41, whatever it is, £1.20 gone. I'm not bothered. We're going to assign them as they come. So we're not looking for a cheapskate way out and wait until the week before we start training. The rings are going on immediately. All the birds in the loft now, which there's going to be two, there's about 200 in there, they're all going to be caught either Wednesday or Thursday, and we're going to assign all them. They will all have ETS rings on as well. But going back to the benzing system, when it came to me assigning the birds today, I linked the ring marker up to the PC and I couldn't get anything to, to, to work, basically. It didn't, it, it, it was live, but I couldn't get it to, how oh, they told me it would work, the engineer told me it didn't. So of course, uh, I contacted uh, Thomas and I couldn't believe it. Within two minutes, I got a guy on the phone to me the support service was unbelievable. I got a guy on the phone to me. He talk, tried to talk me through a few things. My president bought a team from a Belgian fancier, which was a surprise to me. I didn't know they were coming. And I had a great conversation with Franz. Got a few pictures of him. And he, he informed me that he's going to be the guy overseeing our race. And so we've got the top man of the FCI in our first year taking care of the race. What that means is that Franz will be overseeing all the race marking He'll be over for the weekend or however long it takes to oversee all the race marking. He'll witness the sealing of the crates. He will also be heavily involved in the liberation with the full line of flight and weather, etc. because obviously the FCI have the birds welfare at all, just as we do. And um, we will liaise with each other to make sure that we get a good line of flight so we can get some good returns. But as, as Franz are aware, it's what makes it much harder racing from France in this race is because the birds are on their own. There's no birds in France that weekend at all, and they're up on their own, the convoy on their own. So, as you said, it is 
uh, no mean feat. But uh, yeah, everything's positive. Things are good. Things are going well. But again, then again, if you think hundred thousand pound, hundred and sixteen, seventeen thousand euros, gold medals, you know, you can understand why. Also, we've we've gone with the best clocking system there is for one loft racing, Benzing Live. You can download the app. There's going to be an IPC. It's fancy you can can get his own IPC number to make them. Uh, they can compete then for FCI honours. And you know it's, it's endless. It goes on and on and on. So yeah, a very very successful show. Very pleased. Met some great people. And I'd like to thank all the Dutch people who helped me out. And like you say, especially the guy who come along and got the dinosaur out of the way and got the television working for me. Well, I want to say thank you, Jim, which I did publicly as well, but I'll say that now. He he helped me out of a spot in that I'm sitting there thinking, how the hell am I going to get Gary this video? Because that was uh, obviously a big, a big issue. But uh, I, as I said, I had... Uh, I had a few people offering help. Thomas, because uh, he was flying, Thomas helped me. Thomas Zimmerman offered to help as well, but um, Visser uh, was the one that stepped up and I, he managed to um, see my post half an hour before he was uh, due to leave for the show. So uh, I sent him, I stopped off on the motorway and sent him the video and he, uh, and he saw it. So again, big thanks to him for doing that. It, uh, it just shows you what good people are around. Really good. The other thing Mark I'd like to say about um, the benzene system, we got home to, obviously I got home late last night, but this morning we, we, we got the pigeons too that we needed to put on the, what I wanted to try out on the benzene system, um, being new to me. Um, we managed to type the ring numbers in, etc., and all the codes we needed with no problem whatsoever. However, when I come to I was also put, because what we're doing this year, we're putting the ETS rings on as the birds come in. There's no, oh, well, that's £1.41, whatever it is, £1.20 gone. I'm not bothered. We're going to assign them as they come. So we're not looking for a cheapskate way out and waiting till the week before we start training. The rings are going on immediately. All the birds in the loft now, which there's going to be two, there's about 200 in there. They're all going to be caught either Wednesday or Thursday and we're going to assign all them, they will all have ETS rings on as well. But going back to the benzene system, when it came to me assigning the birds today, I linked the ring marker up to the PC, and I couldn't get anything to, to, to work, basically. It didn't. It, it, it was live, but I couldn't get it to. Are they told me it would work? The engineer told me it didn't. So, of course, uh, I contacted uh, Thomas, and I couldn't believe it. Within two minutes, I got a guy on the phone to me, the support service was unbelievable. I got a guy on the phone to me. He talk, tried to talk me through a few things. There's five pinnies wire here. Got the ETS rings on them. So I'm now in the process of transferring data from my own PC, which I've got to do manually, onto the benzene system. So as we catch the pigeon, look at the ring number, we'll just select it for that syndicate. Bang, it's got its ETS ring on, dressed up nicely. Um, the bids in the loft, I've had a good look at them today. And I've got to say, Annette and Rob did an absolutely superb job. Um, immaculately clean as usual. Pities look well, you know. Because the, the whole thing's being recorded. So apologies to those that are, uh, are experiencing in and out and it keeps stopping. Um, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, but th that's the thing. Going back to the, um, the benzene system, um, you know, that's why they're the leaders in one loft races. You know, at the end of the day, they have got most of the one loft races around, or the big ones anyway. And uh, and that's why, you know, because their support is second to none. I mean, I, I, I've seen them in action. I've been in the same room with them in Portugal, and they're on it. You know, they're, they're, they're completely on it from the minute they get there to, to uh, when that first pigeon arrives they're on it so it's definitely definitely the way to go um yeah greg apologies i don't know what's going on it's something i gotta figure out with more i need to hardwire all my system in which i haven't done yet uh because in theory i should have no internet problems here but anyway uh, as i say apologies guys um so 
you say you would say that the Houghton was the about the biggest show you've been to from a numbers point of view, would you? I would say so. Yeah, I mean, I never I never went to China, but I went to um, Castle. I went to Blackpool, did Doncaster. Um, well, I mean, all them shows are very busy, but I would say Houghton was the standout show, um, in my opinion. Mm. Um, yeah, very friendly atmosphere, etc. You know, I couldn't fault th- one, one bit of it. I think it's the biggest in Europe, then, from what you've said. Mm, it, it, I would say. I mean, probably the people what run Castle will, will argue the case. Cause, I mean, Castle's... Th- it's hard to say, because maybe Castle's got three big, real, really big rooms, you know. Um, Houghton's more compact. Although the, there is three different rooms, but it is more compact. Um, maybe Castle's more spread out, but, you know, certainly on the Sunday, Houghton was much busier than what Castle was, because we was at Castle Saturday and Sunday, and certainly on the on the, the Sunday it was far busier. Um, but yeah, I met, uh, th- there was a lot of people there that I knew, and um, yeah, everything was good. I had some good, good conversations, good positive comments, great support, um, people wishing as well, you know, um, so thanks to everybody. Cool. Well, I'm gutted I missed it next year, but uh, these things happen, and I'm just glad that you were able to get the. I had some quite good comments for the people I sent it to to get that video to you about the video and how and how they liked it. But um, before I let you go, um, so just a quick update for people: you've got your um, new loft up, yeah? Yeah, the, the new loft's now up. It's all kitted out. We um, Purchase, etc. They've, they've done an amazing job. The craftsmanship's first class. Um, just to make everything look pretty much the same, because obviously the 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 old what we'll, we'll, we'll say is the old loft's been um, overboarded with UPVC. So we intend now later this week to get um, the old lavery section of the new loft um, completely UPVC'd. Um, so it's looking pretty much the same then as it's UPVC all the way across. I'm not going to overboard the actual loft itself because it means there's a change in all the doors now. They're all brand new and everything's working, sliding along perfect. So I'm not going to go to that extent. But the Avery side, it's just a case we're overboarding the Avery. We're looking into, well, we will have the new signs hopefully in the next couple of weeks for the top of the loft. So all that's going to be new. We're just going to start doing a bit of block paving now. Um, for a walkway across the front of the new lot and around the um, trapping area, that'll be block paved as well. Um, there's a couple of retaining walls to build out of natural stone. Um, the, the, it's all, you, you know, it's all just making things look right and look nice. The, the work's done. The loft's up, the work's done. You know, um, we just need, the birds will be coming along thick and fast now over the next few weeks. And um, yeah, things are good. Everything's good. You know, it's, uh, as I've said many times, the crucial time now is the next two months because the health of the pigeons is an absolute nightmare. And and, and anybody running a one-off race would have to admit it because it, it is true. The, the, the health situation with so many birds coming from so many lofts, you've got cross-contamination of different bacterias, and it is an absolute nightmare. When they've been here three, four weeks and got used to our, our feeding system, etc., and the environment... Things are much different, but three, for three or four weeks, it is a nightmare. Fortunately for us, we're now six years in, and we have got an idea on how to do things and where we've made mistakes in previous years. We've rectified their mistakes. We've changed a few things. And net is red hot on, on health and disease. And I'm very fortunate to have her on board. You know, I'm very fortunate that she's there for me, and um, she really knows what she's talking about, especially when it comes to... Um, uh, etc cetera, etc cetera. cool that's really good then mate so um you've got 1200 sorry you've got 1100 entries 11, at the moment. just over i think it's 1104 now excellent so we're we're, we're, we're we're capping at 1500 that's what we're aiming for 1500 will be the cap however we've got loft capacity comfortable for 2000 pigeons so, if we got to fifteen hundred, if we got to fifteen hundred, then I got another. Okay. I don't know what number 
we've got from there to up to later. So you don't know, we could end up with more than 1,500, but what I'm trying to say is the loft capacity is there to, to take more if we needed to. So the loft capacity now is is fifteen hundred uh, is 2,000? In yeah, there's enough room in the loft for 2,000, pretty comfortable. You know, but like I say, I'm happy with 1,500. That was target from the start when we, when we decided that we were going to extend. We said 1,500, so we'll be more than happy with that. You know, but at the end of the day, you get what you get. The money's there, the prize money's there, it's guaranteed, so we get what we get. Well, you've you've only just started having uh, overseas pigeons come in as well, so you know that will kick yeah. up a lot, and then you'll get uh, you'll get a lot of other um, people coming in as well. You know, yeah. um, last minutes or last month right. or whatever. So it, it happens every year. You've got people what are, are still breeding their own pigeons, and then they, 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 they realise they've got oh, I've got a few spare you out of these pigeons and them pigeons. And this, oh, I'm going to have a crack at the one-off racing. I know last year we, we, we had an hell of a lot of numbers come in between mid-February to mid-March, you know. And as I've always said, you've got to be in it to win it. And, and, and trust me, anybody, anybody, any pigeon can win this race. So I hear such rubbish being said. Oh, I don't know if I've got anything good enough. It's rubbish. This race is different to any other one-off race. It's over that channel, but the difference is they're on their own. It's an individual performance. When them pigeons hit that coastal line, you've got 1,000 and 2,000, you've got a few hundred, and that's it. Exactly. And that's what makes the difference. It's a hell of a test. And I, and I, and I think, and I think the, the, the thing with your race, and we were talking, we had a brief conversation before the show, and you said there was about 15 one-off races at Houghton, but... And that's good, you know. Globally, that's that's good. I, I, I you know, my thought, thoughts on one. Those are on purpose. So, I'm talking about all one-off racing now. They load these pigeons are on purpose, so the weight loads less. What? Well, it's a load of rubbish, you know. Um, I'd love to guarantee every pigeon being at the final race, but let's live in the real world. There ain't no way that's going to happen. And as the people have been today, I've had a few people come today, and people I spoke to at the show. If all you can hope for is to have one in that final. If you've got one in that final, forget the hotspot races, they've gone out the window. It's a different ball game altogether. That channel's a different... The channel is the leveller. And being on their own, that's the leveller. So anybody can win it. Anybody. Any pigeon can win it. Yeah, absolutely. And well, as, as, proven by, as proven by the past, you know, it's yeah. not been, been the big names yet winning it. So, you know, and let's that, just hope the final day is not quite as hot as last last year because so the last two years is not as tough as we get this year is not as tough as the last two years have been you know a nice 1100 and a nice 1135 yard a minute to the winning pigeon about seven hours and 20 minutes so it's a true race it's not a blow home it's a true race it's a steady race it's an honest race then let's see what happens then let's judge and let's see what happens you know what i mean let's see what we get back then mm -hmm. that, that'll be um i always remember in 2017 when um it was a terrific race, really, really tough race. 1,100 and I think it was 35 yards or 30 yards to winning pigeon. And um, out of 200, I think it was 97 with time 57 on the night. And with, um, I think, 160 by half past 10 next morning. So, you know, a fair racing day, the pigeons did the job. Same this year, I knew the pigeons were right. Uh, sorry, in 2019, I knew the pigeons were right. You could have thrown them at wall, they'd have bounced back in it, they'd have rock off. Mm. But the heat beat them. It was the heat. There was no doubt about it. I stood there, and I thought they were still in France. I didn't think they crossed the channel, but that's what it says. Who dares wins? Indeed, mate. Indeed. Great. Well, I'm going to come up soon, and we're going to take. Howdy, folks. Uh, let's try one last time. Um, undoubtedly I need to sort this new internet out and here was me thinking when I got proper internet that everything would be good and uh, it's not and uh, I need to sort it and I promise you I will sort it um, I won't go too long because this is turning out to be an absolute nightmare um, but what I will wanted to talk about briefly is the AGM that the RPRA had. 
the RPRA had their AGM and the club ruling that people needed to be given a reason why they anybody was refused from the club um, was passed, which is a great thing. Apologies, guys, who are tuning back in. This is about the fourth or fifth time I've gone offline, and I really apologize. Trust me, this frustrates me as much as you, and I will be on as to what the darn problem is with this internet. Um, so, yeah, the club ruling went through, which is great. Now, the one member, one vote um, ruling initially didn't, well, it didn't go through, it didn't get passed, which was disappointing. But after speaking to Ian Evans today, um, the council members afterwards at the council meeting, they have the power to essentially overrule something, and they did. And what they've suggested is that they should put um, one member, one vote to, to a test for one year, which is a big thing, because essentially... Um, that puts a lot of those people out of a position if, if this continues. And the fact that they have been progressive enough to vote it through to say, look, we're going to put one member, one vote through um, for one year and we're going to see, that is a really great thing that um, they are allowing it. So it's a one-year test period. And so that what that means is that People have got to go out there and use the one member, one vote. From speaking to Ian briefly today, the people will be able to do it online and they'll be able to do it via post. So people will have the ability to be able to vote on specific things using one member, one vote for one year. And let's just hope people have actually do use it. One of the great things about it is that people that are not a member of a club but a member of the RPRA, like myself, will still be able to use it. Because at the moment, not being a member of a club, I can't vote on anything. But I feel that if you remember the RPRA, you should be able to. And so it's a really great thing. And I'm really a big congratulations to the council members that decided to actually give it a try and give it a try for a year. Um, it's a great, great, uh, it's great of them to do. It really is. Um, guys, I apologize. Um, Everybody, I apologize to all. I've, I've probably missed a load of comments. I will go through all the comments and I will catch up with them all, um, I promise. Um, trust me, one of the first things I'll be doing when I get off is, is figuring out what is going on and running some tests and all of that stuff. The moment I'm looking at it, it's running fine, but it's just, like I said, as frustrating to me as it is you guys, I promise. And that's not what I want. Um, I'm not on fastest connection here, but I am on a normal connection, so not good. Um, anyway, so yeah, the one member, one vote is great. And uh, it, it says a lot. I'm really, really pleased that although it got defeated, the council said, you know what, let's give it a try because that is progressive and that's what we need. So really good stuff there. Um the I, I, as I said last week, I'm way behind with this house move and all the stuff that needed to be done, and all of the, 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 you know this this internet connection is an issue that needs sorting, and it's something I've not had, managed to test properly because I just haven't had the time. I'm going to call it a day on this now. Thank you to the 72 people still watching after the fifth time. Uh, means a lot that you're still watching. Um, and as I said, I am going to be looking to up the game. First thing is with up in the games, getting a down internet connection sorted out properly um, for these for these shows. And um, I've had quite a few people asking me about being able to order online and the online version of Gary's video as well. Uh, that is on my list to get done tomorrow. Actually, um, I had four people order the DVD and I've not even promoted it yet because the DVD is available, but not the online one. I've got a lot of people overseas asking for the online one. I, I'm doing it tomorrow. Mickey Hessian, thank you. Lorraine Butler, thank you for sticking with me. It means a lot. Leslie Craven, Greg O'Reilly. Um, I'm going to be calling Vodafone straight away and figuring out what the hell's going on. Before that, I'm going to actually test some uh, other stuff, but 
yeah, not good. Um, thank you to everybody that's watched. Uh, it won't be like this all the time. I was really hoping when I moved to an actual normal house, internet connection, that it would be all right. But we keep trying and we never give up. We will get there, folks. So thank you very much. Greg, see you next week. Much appreciate to all the kind comments. It means a lot even after all this. People, people retuning in. I think this is the fifth time. Thank you very much, folks. Catch you next week. And, and again, it's not going to happen yet. It's not relevant yet. But let's make sure we use this one member, one vote, because it needs to happen. Um, Peter, Peter, I will be in contact with you tomorrow regarding the Budapest. We'll get it sorted, all right? It's just been mad crazy times, and it's nothing personal. Thank you, folks. Catch you next week. All being well, we'll have a seamless show. And uh, see you next week. Cheers.